news that's coming in. The rupee depreciated 14 paisa to 77.69 rupees against the dollar in opening trade. This is tracking the persistent foreign fund outflows and elevated global uh, crude oil prices as well. Uh, those are the details here coming in at this point in time. The rupee uh, seeing record lows against the US dollar. Those are the details here uh, at this point in time with regard uh, to uh, what we are seeing happen with the rupee here, slumping 14 paise uh, to the dollar at this point in time. Uh, in fact, 77.69 rupees uh, is where the rupee is at versus uh, the US dollar. This uh, The week itself has seen the rupee uh, down by 65 paise overall. So those are the details here uh, at this point in time with regard uh, to where we are seeing uh, the rupee. Remember, this comes amidst a whole lot of uh, fun outflows uh, that we are seeing as well and uh, the global food prices also, uh, which have been rising and have been extremely volatile as well. Let me straight go across uh, to Consulting Editor, Economic Times, uh, Maitli, who's joining us here uh, at this point. Thank you so much for uh, uh, putting this into perspective. If you can take us through how, what what's happening with the rupee. <laughs> I mean, what's happening with the rupee is that it's falling in line with almost all other emerging market currencies. This is partly because the U.S. economy is, you know, doing very well. The dollar is strengthening. The U.S. Fed, because of rising inflation in the U.S., we just have the unusual situation of U.S. inflation being higher than that in India. The U.S. Fed is set to hike interest rates. They've hiked it already twice, and they're determined to hike it even more and maybe faster than anticipated. So it's essentially because the dollar strength. There's a flight to safe havens. And because of that, the FIIs have been pulling out of India. There's also the fact that because of oil price hike, we've seen Indian fundamentals deteriorate quite sharply over the past one or two months. We already had a fairly high fiscal deficit, which is the excess of government spending over its revenue. And we also now have the phenomenon of a large current account deficit. That means we are actually having imports more than exports, not in quantity terms, but in terms of value terms because of the rising price of oil. So a combination of these factors has resulted in the rupee weakening. Remember, the rupee still, of course, remains a little uh, uh, appreciated as overvalued really, is the right word, in comparison to the jewel and effective exchange rate as the Reserve Bank likes to see it. So we are likely to see the rupee depreciate even further. The RBI fortunately has a large, you know, Forex Reserve Kitty, of course, these have also been falling quite rapidly, but it's still, you know, well in excess of what we had earlier at the last time of the taper tantrums. It was close to 640 billion, now it is below 600 billion, but it is still sufficient for the RBI to intervene and prevent a very rapid de depreciation of the rupee. So what the RBI is likely to do is intervene periodically to ensure that the depreciation is more gradual and, and not sudden. Because remember, depreciation of the rupee also adds to inflation, which is already very high. We've seen in inflation come in at an eight-year high. And we're going to see the WPI number, which will be coming out in a day or two, also very high. So all said and done, we are likely to see the rupee depreciate further in the coming weeks. The RBI can at best ensure that the depreciation is not too sharp, not too sudden, but they will not be able to change the direction of the rupee. All right, Maitli, thank you so much uh, for joining us and putting that into perspective.